Moviegoers weren't the only ones scared by Jurassic Park. No studio had the guts to release a film against it over the weekend. Our movie analyst Martin Grove joins us live from Hollywood with more on Jurassic's killer opening. Marty. Uh, Lauren, you know, this movie is knocking them dead at the box office. Indeed, Jurassic Park premiered with the vengeance of a velociraptor, a remarkable feat for Universal Pictures. But then again, June 11th was a lucky day for Universal and Steven Spielberg once before. Ouch. On June 11th, 1982, Ouch. Universal Ouch. Pictures opened E.T., the Ouch. extraterrestrial, the film that would become the highest grossing in movie history, bringing in $399 million domestically. Just like a flock of birds evading a predator. It's too soon to say if Jurassic Park will be as big as E.T., but it's certainly giving some other blockbusters a real run for its money. Will Jurassic Park's success stomp on what Columbia Pictures hopes is their lucky day? With Last Action Hero opening this coming Friday, history shows there's room enough for two big money makers in the same summer season. For example, in June 1984, Ghostbusters and Gremlins opened the same weekend, and both films scared up lots of moviegoers. The summer of 89 starred Batman and Indiana Jones on The Last Crusade. Batman went on to gross $251 million, while Indy 3 did $197 million. And of course, last summer boasted two blockbusters, Lethal Weapon 3 and Batman Returns, both sequels and both brought in the big bucks. So it looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger and Last Action Hero have at least a fighting chance of surviving the onslaught of the dinosaurs. Lauren? But Morty, today's Daily Variety and also The Hollywood Reporter both gave absolutely scathing reviews to Last Action Hero. If the negative reports keep coming between now and Friday, could Arnold Schwarzenegger have a bust on his hands? Uh, Lauren, fortunately, most moviegoers don't read uh, The Hollywood Trade, so we're <laughs> safe on that account. Uh, of course, uh, bad reviews uh, in general could be harmful, but I think what really will matter is this fact that uh, audiences love Arnold Schwarzenegger, so it'll be a big opening no matter what, and after that, it's all up to word of mouth. And Marty, one final question. I know, we all know that Jurassic Park just opened, but there is already talk of a sequel? Yes, and, uh, you know, with numbers like these, Lauren, uh, let's face it, uh, I don't think we're going to see Jurassic Park turn extinct at the box office. Uh, <laughs> you can look for Universal to try for a sequel. We'll be looking, Marty. Thank you so much, and we'll look for you next Monday. Great.